Hey, yo, fellow Ligonians, fellow Brick fans, and fellow YouTubers of the viewing audience. This is Dave Frost 1, reporting in once again with another LEGO set review. And this time it is of the Sanctuary 2 Endgame Battle set. So let's start off with the minifigures. Captain Marvel. Great torso print, great facial print. On the front. And great torso print, great facial expression. As well, one where she's happy, one where she's smirking. Because she defeated Thanos. Not really angry. In this form. Great energy effects. Next we have Iron Man. Again, I don't know which mark... Which suit number this is. I don't keep up with the detail on that. I could. But it would take a lot of memorization. And I already replaced the. Tony Stark cab piece with this. Because like I've said before. I rather have only one Tony Stark and Jarvis controlling and or Friday controlling all the suits. And obviously it would be Friday since Jarvis is Vision at this point. But there's also great armor, torso and leg printing. And I also enjoy the metallic pearl gold pieces for the arms and also great torso printing on the back. And also great energy effect pieces as well. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> and now for the main event. Six stud shooters on the top. Faux cannons. Up here. Towards the front. And. Uh, only the winglet. Fins. Can bend. On both sides. And, uh, let's open the cockpit, and there we have Thanos. It doesn't come out like the Guardian ship. It's just a seat with the control panel there. And around the back, we get the gauntlet. As well as uh, some extra ammo for the stud shooters. And there's... It may be dark in there, but that's all there is in the back is the empty space for the gauntlet and the extra ammo. And it comes in this form since Thanos comes in minifigure form in this set. And then his double-edged sword is held by clips on the sides and the back. Not sure what this clip is meant to hold. 
But let's form the sword. And he comes with great, Thanos comes with great torso printing and leg printing for the front and back. And no back head printing. It's just the angry one on the front. And that is it for the minifigure. And we've seen the vehicle. So that is pretty much it for the set. So I thank you all so very much for watching. Please stick around for more great Lego and Transformer related content coming to the future of this channel. I don't know, maybe... Sorry about that. Maybe it would work, but it would cost more if they were to... If Lego were to include... Um... The Chitari or the giant flying creature. You know, just add more. But then again, they weigh out even the heroes side of things of the battle. But all said and done, this is it. I thank you all so very much for watching. Again, again, stick around for more great LEGO and Transformer related content coming through the future of this channel. And also stick around for more upcoming LEGO set reviews coming very soon. And I shall see you all next time. One other thing I want to point out is that it looks metallic gold on the box but it's just pearl gold in the actual set anyways i shall see you all next time don't forget to hang loose and so long